the yellow vest. Judah, let's go! A small but vocal group met outside of Halifax City Hall targeting all levels of government. The issues they protest are wide-ranging. But the main focus is immigration. It stems from the signing of the Global Migration Compact in Morocco last week. Canada, along with 164 other nations, signed the pact. Demonstrators say it will open Canadian borders. Well, we don't need mass immigration. We don't want mass immigration. It's dangerous. However, the migration pact is not legally binding, and Canada hasn't yet agreed to change any of its immigration laws. But some protesters say regardless of the specific issue they're fighting for, those in power aren't listening. People in Canada are very, very upset, and it seems like our president, Make America Great, Donald Trump, has spread the message there as well because it's Canada first, right? And our president, he's America first. What do you think? <laughs> you know, it's funny. I love your hat. There's <laughs> hats like that showing up in Canada, and people are wearing Make Canada Great Again hats, you know? Oh, yeah. This nationalism is a good thing when your borders are being taken by, down by progressive leaders that don't believe in national sovereignty. Um, this, this, this week, the UN's Global Compact for Migration in Morocco got 164 countries to sign off on this insane open borders policy. And what's really interesting, Jermaine, is when you go to Europe and you look at what's going on there, Poland and uh, Hungary are not opening their doors. They don't have any rioting. They don't have any mass crime waves. They don't have rape gangs. They're not having the social destruction that Germany and France and the other countries we've mentioned are in, uh, uh, encountering. And Canada is turning into Europe in the sense that Trudeau has this idea, let everybody in, we're compassionate. And what he doesn't realize is and you mentioned at the start of the show, Jermaine, if you don't know history, you're doomed to repeat it. This is jihad by immigration. It's in the Quran. If you don't have an army, send the people. And two generations later, the army is inside the gate, not at the gate. Mm -hmm. They're in the gate. And they're voting, and they're taking part in the political process, which I know you and I are going to talk about in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And then, what do you do? Then... It's too late. I hope, I hope the leadership of the United States is going to spread and the citizenry are going to say, we don't want to bleed our treasury dry in exchange for the destruction of our country. If it's a real immigrant, a real person escaping prosecution, persecution rather, that's an asylum seeker. Not 10,000 people at the border every day. <laughs> Yeah, you know, um, Barry, that's an invasion, you know, yeah, um, to be honest. You know, it's not like one or two people we're talking about. We're talking about tens of thousands, you know, it's an article. absolutely ridiculous. Now, there's a, um article here that I'm showing people by the Associated Press. It's on CT News. Uh, and it speaks about uh, the, de the delegates at the U.N. conference that are laying out commitments to fight people trafficking and to uh, boost economic opportunities to wake of uh, pledging to cooperate in safe, orderly, and human migration. Now, they had a day two of this uh, meeting here, and they spoke about, um, and most notably, um, about how they can bring people across, um, basically, into the country. Um, in a safe and orderly fashion. And the there's some countries that were missing from that meeting and the U.S. were missing. Now, the counselor, the German counselor, Angelo Merkel, who attended Monday, who, have, uh, who had a lot of uh, pains to dispel, she said this is, uh, uh, there's a lot of false uh, information circulating about uh, the pact that is going on. And they saying that, uh, the government will not force the migrants on the country. Now, what do you think about uh, this here? Well, I'll tell you, let's look at what the Germans did. Uh, Andre Merkel, who's the leader of Germany, has lost 
the leadership of her own party. They voted her out. She's still the chancellor, which is basically the president, but her own party doesn't want her to lead them anymore. She has taken Germany down the road to no borders, let everybody in, and now the UN commission that had this hearing, uh, open convention for, they got 164 countries to come to Morocco, is saying, well, we're gonna fight human trafficking. Well, that's a good thing. And we're gonna fight slavery. Well, that's a good thing. And we're gonna provide economic opportunity. That's a good thing. All those safe words are air cover for the fact that tens of thousands of people are pouring in and destroying the civilization of each one of these countries. The stability is being upended. The budgets are going down the toilet. There's mass unrest in the streets. Crime is going to the roof. And they're not closing their borders, Jermaine. Yeah. It's yeah. going to get to a point where it's going to be revolution in the streets. The Yellow Jackets are going to turn into an armed conflict. And in a lot of cases, the police don't want to fire on the protesters. They're literally putting down their guns and their tear gas and their batons because they agree with the protesters. France won't be French. Germany won't be German. However, Poland will be Polish and Hung Hungary will be Hungarian because their fences are locked. You can't get in. <laughs> Literally. Their economies are doing great. They don't have the crime. They don't have the rape. And they don't have the social unrest. Hello? Take yeah. a look in the mirror. What's causing it? Five years ago, it wasn't like this. You are witnessing the destruction, Germaine, of civilization. And the cause is right at the doorstep of the leaders of these countries that are forcing it down the throats of their citizens. I think it was the Homeland Security uh, Secretary, the, something like that, however it translates, um, in Holland that said, we can no longer pay for them. We're broke. Now what do they do? Seriously. The people aren't, aren't, aren't feeding themselves. They're not clothing themselves. They're not housing themselves. They're not paying for their own education and they're not paying taxes. The government is broke. And she said, it will bring down the government. We're broke. What's the next step, Jermaine? Send them back. You know, uh, it, it, it's crazy. It's crazy to me that people cannot see what is going on, Barry. It's, cra it's mind boggling at that. You know, um, we are repeating history. As you know, Rome went through the same exact thing here. They went through the exact same thing. And people, it's almost as if, uh, you know, people are blind. They just do not want to see what the real truth is. When these people are coming over and they're migrating, the culture changes, Barry. Crime rate goes up. You know, um, America's going through a very fundamental change, and people need to realize that this change is not for the good. And uh, hopefully, Barry, people will be able to wake up here soon. Here's an interesting statistic for um, Jermaine Bazio's viewers to think about. The richest country that has the most wealth and the most vacant land in the Middle East is Saudi Arabia. Okay? Millions of acres. Mm -hmm. Millions of acres. And enormous tent cities that sit unoccupied uh, for 95% of the year, except during um, the annual pilgrimage to Mecca. Do you know how many people Saudi Arabia has taken in from right next door in Syria? Any guesses? Oh, probably... Uh, probably hundred thousands you would think so now these are people by the way that are the same religion they're all Islamic and the answer is drum roll please zero <laughs> zero none they don't want them they're sending them to Europe unbelievable <laughs> isn't it yeah and they know exactly what they're doing too. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, they're not gonna. They don't play the PC game over there. Here we're <laughs> dummies, so we play the PC game. You know, they don't play the PC game. They tell you what's going on, 
and um, they know what's going on.